In this battle, we'll be testing the the Griffin War cataphracts of the Sassanids and the cheaper Savoran cataphracts of the Sassanids against the very cost-effective Sarmatian cataphracts of the Alans. Now the Alans have quite a few things that the Sassanids lack. The Alans have the good, the Alans have the good uh, melee cavalry. They have some. De they have long-range archers. They have uh, slingers, cheap slingers. They have a good shock infantry. But uh, straight up in straight up cavalry engagements, let's see what happens when Gripen War Cataphracts. Gripen War Cataphracts cost 25 more than the Sarmatian Cataphracts, but their charge bonus is significantly better. So here we have it, the Savarans as well. And the Sarmatian Cataphracts, even though they are good and cost effective, Gripen War just destroy them on the charge, taking 13 casualties. And even the Savoran Cataphracts, they take a few more casualties, but they destroy Sarmatian Cataphracts on the charge. But what happens now if you use these, because uh, the Gripen War and the Sarmatians both have the Wedge Formation. So the Wedge Formation is going to me give them an increase in, in uh, charge speed, it's going to reduce their normal speed, and it's also going to increase their charge bonus. So you'll notice the Gripen War have 276 charge bonus now, but less men are going to be hitting each other here. There are going to be less units within their zone of attack because of how the blob develops. So here you can see it, there's significant blobbing here. And significant blobbing over here as well. The engagement is going to take much longer. But let's see how the Sarmatian Cataphracts do now. That their higher melee defense can... Uh, in the coming combat, their higher melee defense can make them get hit less against the Gripen War. So head on, they lose horribly to Gripen War. But in Wedge, this engagement takes a long, long, long time. And as you can see, the Sarmatian Cataphracts are starting to do fairly well here against uh, even the Gripen War. Same thing over here against the Savarans. They are actually defeating the Savarans, having, uh, having only taken about 22 casualties. They will take a few more before the Savarans break. But yeah, they end up taking 20, 25 casualties. Very good result. Over here, they take more casualties against the Gripen War, of course, but they're still able to win. So that makes them a very interesting unit, uh, using using Wedge against the superior Sassanid Shock Cavalry, because the infantry support for the Alans is much better. However, the uh, Armenian Slingers will love firing at the Sarmatian Cataphract, so things are always a bit more complex than one versus one, but it's nice to know that... Um, it's nice to know that these these uh, Sarmatian Cataphracts, if both units use Wedge, they're able to defeat units which they otherwise lose against. And here, just for fun, I smashed the General of Oblix with a single charge here. So, uh, charge from both sides and the General just dies. To be expected. Strength and honor.